This is the Deerfield Conservation Committee meeting, September 25th, 2018. Uh, present is Louis Mission and Ben Byrne. And let's see, we have a few interesting things on tonight. Uh, we got some old business. Is the railroad yard, the solar uh, project out there. And we have just uh, gotten the okay to start a uh, third party review of the project. So that'll be continuing and uh, they asked for a continuance on this project till at least the next meeting. And uh, so I make a motion to uh, continue the railroad project till uh, the next meeting. I'll second. Which is uh, October 25th, it should be. Correct. Okay, and <coughs> another kind of a partial old business is the Cumberland Farms project. And I guess it's, uh, we should be doing a, according to the DEP, we should be doing a uh, partial uh, certification cert here and uh, any comments on that is some from yeah. two from yeah. some of the farms if you okay. could state who you are uh, Meredith Borenstein SWCA um, I'm here and on behalf of Michael Marcus who is out yeah. of town oh, yeah okay. so he, I, he say, I didn't see Mickey yeah. yeah he was he's he's out of town so he asked me to come in his place but he's been working with the DEP on all this enforcement order business um, yeah, so under their guidance, we have filed a um, partial COC for the Cumberland Farms, um, the building itself and the stormwater system. And I have, did you get that paperwork? We had sent it in, but yeah, I have a, another see. copy <coughs> if you want. Yeah, no, that's the. Just the, the two. Yeah, the partial sir. is a. Now what does is cover the uh, associated stormwater drainage and utilities. Yes. And not anything to do with the driveway correct. and that drainage. Yes, correct. Okay, because I'm not sure if the two tie in a little bit, but the majority of it, you know, with the retainage, retention pond there, everything looks pretty good. And yeah. Yep. So, uh, yeah, and they say, DP said this is the way to proceed. Yeah, yeah they want it, they like to get the orders closed out for one project before they start issuing another number for the same site, basically. Yeah, so that was their recommendation. Okay, um, so I, uh, I yeah. see no, uh, no problem with that. You know, I've been out there, of course, with the okay. cease and desist, mm -hmm. yeah. and that, that area looked good. And, okay, built. And uh, so I just soon sign off on it. Have you got any questions or? No, no, I think it's pretty pretty straightforward at this point. Yeah. Looks good what's done. That's, you know. Yeah, it's been built. This is um, the engineer, yes. Phil yeah. Henry. Um, so. Oh, no, we met, I think, oh. a, yes. a while back. <laughs> yes, many times. Yeah, so that's all been built. So the n new notice of intent is just for the driveway. Okay. All right. I'll Drop this off in the office tomorrow. I'm not sure okay. what happens with it after that. You know, it's yeah. You signed it. Yeah, it doesn't need to get registered or anything. I don't. No, I don't. Th I don't think so. I'll find out tomorrow. Okay. And the other part of it is. Let's see. It's the NOI for uh, the entrance there. Yes. Yeah, so we had to file a new notice of intent because as the contractor was getting into doing the work, it's my understanding, and correct me if I'm wrong, Phil, um, that there were some wetland impacts in order to install the culvert that were necessary that weren't, weren't called out in the first notice of intent mm -hmm. that was filed. Um, and DEP noticed that when the enforcement order issue happened. So they asked us to file a new notice of, of intent just for the crossing. And so with that, there is some wetland impacts and rest, subsequent restoration. Um, 
that we are proposing with the, the new notice of intent is just for the crossing. Right. Yeah. The whole area there, and you still have to satisfy DEP outside those limits. Yes. Where yes. the uh, cease and desist took place there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I think they wanted us to file the new notice of intent first, get your approval for that work, and then they're approving the restoration and mitigation plan. Which is you, you is part of the other cease and desist. Yes. Yeah. 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 And we have that plan here. We can go over it. Yeah. Um, if you. Yeah. I'd like to. Okay. Do you have you? We sh did you, you got the copies, or do you need another copy of? No, I think we. Yeah. Right there. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. But I. Yeah, but you can just explain. Sorry. A little something, I guess. I should have put it on the board. I thought we were going to be. Oh. People are interested. They can come up after. Yeah, I mean, I can hold it up. So, this, um, so the contractor is going to come in more from the parking lot side rather than 5 and 10, which was our original expectation. I'm sorry. So with that, um, in order to get the footings in, there's going to be some impacts um, to the BBW, and there's a little drainage channel in there. So there's some bang associated with that. Yeah, yeah, I think I think it's important to note that the that the design that's uh, was approved is not proposed to be changed. This this all came about as the contractor was getting ready to do this work. Um, I guess it was unclear to them their their limit of of work in terms of what they were allowed to disturb. And obviously they disturbed a little bit more than what was on the plans. When DEP arrived on site after the cease and desist, uh, uh, after the cease and desist order was issued, it became apparent that the GC was unable to perform the work without further ex expanding their scope. So what, why we're here tonight is, uh, is in part um, asking for simply just additional area to to, to uh, construct the, you know, the retaining walls and the culvert, which, which was originally designed and has not, and has originally designed and approved and has not been changed since uh, 2016 or 17. Um, so, so basically we're here to, because we thought logistically, it would be logistically best to, instead of restore the existing conditions uh, or restore the area of disturbed back to existing conditions was to actually install the culvert first and then restore everything back to existing conditions. And that's what DEP, it's my understanding, has, has agreed to. Um, and, and that process, because it does not allow for work under that enforcement order, we are here today to ask permission to do that work, which will then be overseen by DEP. So it's a two-step process. Okay, those are new then. This yeah, they'll actually, part of the, uh, there'll actually be restoration additional too. plantings and trees than there are today. Yes. So. Now, so under, uh, okay. Yeah. And how do you uh, propose to keep the siltation from leaving the just Stone check dam, is that part of it or? Yeah, and so while they're doing the work, um, they're going to install a stone check dam downstream. So any water in here, they should really be water. Um, yeah, I think as the site, as the site evolves, the, the contract is going to react to, to the existing conditions. So, but that stone, that stone check dam was installed to prevent any further scouring uh, downstream. So luckily, it's, it's a fairly limited area. And, and um, if there's any silver lining in all this, that the upstream area, the actual site, is, is stabilized now and designed. And, and all of that water is pitched away from this area here, so into trench drains and into the stormwater basin. Um, so there's, no, there's actually no drainage structures that are proposed to be improved or installed as part of that culvert. Uh, because the culvert is designed to be at a high point and everything flows back to the site. So there's not going to be any appreciable upstream areas that are going to affect the area of construction. 
So all the uh, for all the drainage on the entrance is going to go back into. That's the right. Room. Yep. Yeah. So basically, where yep. they stopped now, where they stopped, uh, you know, just just on site, that's all pitching back towards the dispensers. Nothing is being pitched towards the um, towards the stream. Now, well, under order of conditions, I know Mickey gave some. Yeah. So as part of. Um, Which, this new NOI, we were proposing this as um, a help to the CONCOM if we were proposing um, special conditions like a third party erosion control monitor. So, as the site, as the work gets going, an erosion control, a certified erosion control inspector can go out there and say, look, you need to put more wattles, more silt vents, stop work, or whatever. Yeah. Um, and DEP had that suggestion too in their, that, in their letter. Um, yeah, yeah, I did. Yeah, and uh, do you want me to go over the special conditions? Um, yeah, if you could just. Yeah, uh, so it basically says that um, these conditions are for the work and wetland impacts associated with the new culvert over the intermittent stream. Um, prior to work on the culvert, there should be an on site meeting with the CONCOM site contractor, engineer, and the third party inspector to review the site, construction techniques, sediment and erosion controls, um, timing. And it says that the wetland and buffer zone restoration work will be reviewed and monitored by MassDEP per their request under the unilateral administrative consent order. And let's see. It sort of just outlines the Yeah. Work. Now, now how does that third party, you're going to hire the third party or Cumberland Farms? I, it's either the contractor or Cumberland Farms would hire. Yeah, there will be somebody there that is certified to review yeah. Uh, yeah. the the goings ons of construction. Um, I know I'm personally going to be out there uh, at this pre construction meeting, and I'm I'm assuming w one of you folks will be out there as well whenever we um, have that meeting per per special condition number two. Um, so. Um, you know, whether it might be it might it might be someone from our office, um, or or some yeah from, we do that from, work too. You know, from Mickey's office. Yeah, um, we do that a lot. You know, I think the spirit of this is that I think focus needs to be attended to on this, and and we're doing proactive measures to 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 see this through successfully. Yeah. So rather than just the contractor looking over the stuff every day, which they have to do anyways, yeah. um, it's like another person coming on site and saying. Yeah. You really need to look at this and add more erosion controls. And but we are office. Because yeah, you're going to have someone that they're going to certify at the end that that was done. Well, they're going to. Isn't it? It's, it's on here. I think. Yeah. So what the um, erosion control monitor would do would go to the site once a week or after large rain events, like over a half an inch or something, um, and then they would write a report and send it to the CONCOM and DEP and say. Nothing was entering wetlands. The site is stable. Yeah. This was happening on the site, basically. Mm -hmm. um, it's just somebody looking over. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's part of DEP's uh, yep. requirements to. Oh, uh, for, yeah, part of their consent would, order. They, the, yeah, that's pretty typical. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, would, I would say. Yep. Yeah, so then. Um, yeah, so basically, the site contractor is responsible to, for day to day compliance. Um, and repair and replacement of the erosion controls, and then the third-party erosion control inspector would come once a week or after big rain events, do an inspection, help the contractor stay in compliance, and then send a report to the CONCOM and DEP. And then ultimately, um, after the culvert installation occurs, another um, certificate or partial, or yeah, full certificate of compliance yeah, for would be this one, yeah. for this, yeah, this NOI. Yeah. Okay. Is anybody got any questions out there? Or? No. How about you? Okay. Good to go. No, I, you know, I know. Like I say, the beginning there, you were thinking you were going to be going off of five and ten. Of course, the state, I guess, won't like. So there's, uh, 
even if you went off, I, I noticed off of five and 10, there'd still be quite a disturbance in that area anyways. So it really haven't changed a whole lot mm -hmm. other than it wasn't presented that way on the other, so. No, I, uh, I think, you know, these conditions, I, I read them over, okay. order conditions, and uh, I see no, uh, no problem with this and having someone keep an eye on, and DEP, you no know, doubt will stop by too. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, and you want to keep it going, mm -hmm. so. Yeah. You'll have to watch the erosion control and so I, you know, I'm willing to sign off on it. It agrees to you too. So. <clears throat> do you need a copy or do you have a copy that we yeah, sent? Great. Yeah, let's see. I believe it's all. Boy, there's a lot of pages. There are. <laughs> Yeah, approved number, well, BA, I guess that's what it would be. Just, a, you know, the following conditions are necessary. Yes, in, yes. To be in compliance. Mm -hmm. And we will, uh, and it says see attached, those are those conditions you went over. Yep. So. Right. Okay, I think we're all set. You should be all yeah. set. Excellent. Where where will those copies of the certificate and the order be tomorrow? Uh, I won't drop them off till morning. Okay. Morning over the office there. Okay, because we'll need to we'll need to record those and then bring proof back that it, that that yeah, has been recorded. So. Yeah. Okay. Great. Thank you very much. Okay. You're welcome. welcome. <laughs> No, we got we have that one and we got quite a box of this. <laughs> yeah. say we would both agree and signed off. Get you to do a little writing for Priscilla. <laughs> State who you are, even though I know you're Tony, but. Yeah, my name is Tony Wonseski. I'm a senior engineer with SBE Associates in Brattleboro, Vermont, and we're here on behalf of Dumont Company. Um, our client is one development, they're the, the builders of the site and a, a contract with Dumont to build the site. Uh, also, Mark Stednicki is a design engineer, works with me on this project. Um, so, as you know, Oxford Pickle 
property was uh, obtained by the town in 2007. But, uh, and then they most recently sold a portion to the New England Bakers, which will have a facility north of our site. This is the uh, town highway garage. And the town sold to Mr. Hagopian, um, the owner of Dumont, back in July, a 2.87-acre uh, parcel. We call it Parcel C. So that's our site. And the property is fairly flat. It's the area that was the tank field. This is where the actual plant was up in this area where New England makers are. This was all tank field in here where we're relocating uh, the building. Bear Street, South Main Street, Sugarloaf Street, and New Maryland Way. Um, the site is fairly flat, and everything does pitch um, to the west. And currently, there's a berm swale on the southerly property line at, uh, and a, an existing fence and, and very healthy vegetation along that side. And there's a catch basin back here and a swale in this area. So this area that captures uh, the runoff in this area, and there's a catch basin there with a pipe that went to an existing detention basin in this area. And then there's a pipe that goes to Blacksmith Brook. Blacksmith Brook runs off property to the west. It's a perennial stream. Uh, we uh, had our wetlands biologist, Ford Smith, go out and flag those wetlands. And they've been flagged numerous times over the years because the town had studies done. And, yeah. Um, and New England Bakers had, had their folks do it. But we went out and we flagged this area. There are sporting vegetated wetlands associated with Blacksmith Brook. Um, and so we have a 100 foot buffer, which is identified by that green line associated with the BBW. The orange line is the 200 foot buffer zone for the median annual high water mark associated with Blacksmith Brook. So you can see a portion of our property is impacted by the resource area, but this area is also very degraded, broken gravel, broken paved um, weeds, and so forth. So it's a degraded resource area. When we come in to do the project, our, um, our, our building and build-out is a two-phase project. The first phase is 20,000 uh, 900 square feet. The second phase, at some point, depending on our market map, uh, will be 14,300. So we have a 35,200 square foot building ultimately. Uh, the roof is high in the front, pitches to the south, so they can do solar, perfect to the south. Uh, there's no uh, doors or windows off the back. Uh, we made a conscious effort to put everything to the front. Uh, we have three loading docks, uh, our main entrance, and all our parking is in the front. We're trying to stay away from our, our neighbors to the south. We've also, I mean, obviously when you're in riverfront, you do alternative analysis. It makes no sense in this case. We moved it as far as setbacks to the east as possible. Um, I mean, an alternative would put everything west, and then we'd be in the resource area. We'd have building and pavement. It makes no sense. So. Everything is pushed as far as we can to the east. And um, so this area, before this gets built out, will be one. We have a patio area here for people to go out at lunch to, to eat. Now, how, how far out is that building coming in the, the second edition? This right here. So oh, okay. we, never, we never do anything um, imper or per impervious in that area. What we will have to do when this goes, we will have to bring parking around this area by code from zoning code, but the zoning code requires more parking is actually necessary based on the workers and the, and the, and the manufacturing and so But the, the parking meets code, uh, we will have underground propane here. Uh, we have 44 parking spaces, 280A, which is required, but we'll have to have more ADA when it ultimately gets built down. So if you expand the parking, is it going to hit the 200 foot? No, it should, it should just fit right in here. Or if it does, it just barely touches. But I will talk a little bit about drainage, which you would be, be concerned about here. Uh, I mean, we have public water and sewer, which um, will extend water in Merrigan. We have to extend Merrigan Street because it's, it's left off here, right past the westerly garage entrance to the highway garage. Yeah. So that'll be extended. Um, 
sewer, we have two options. Sewer will, what our, our, our preferable option would be is to take sewer, and so we are going to have a temporary alteration there to tie into a manhole that's here, which ties to the 21 inch interceptor sewer. Uh, we had conversations with Hap and um, another gentleman that very familiar with the, the site said that if we were going to develop it, this would be the area of time. We've TV that, it's in good shape, so that would be our ultimate option if, but we do need an easement because this has been sold to the yeah. dealers. We've been working with them uh, uh, about matching up how this fits, and it actually fits very nicely, and I have a composite where I can show you if you really want to, to see that. Um, so that's sewer water. If we were not able to do that, then we pump back and tie into the mantle in front of the uh, highway garage. It just makes more sense to go that way. Uh, the, um, for emergency and maintenance, we're going to have a gravel drive that will come through this one area to get back to the building for fire if we need to, and also to service uh, condensing units, HVA stuff. There's none of that will be on the roof. That will all be on the ground. We have fencing for noise attenuation. Like I said, though, there's a healthy row of vegetation where we just fence. The fence is quite a, quite a ways on our property here, on the Newmont property, but uh, we would never, in a short term, be able to replicate that screening and that. So we're, we're just going to honor that and leave that uh, alone. Drainage, um, we have roof drainage, as I said, this picture. So roof drainage will come to the back. We have a storm drain system and swale. We're going to rework that existing swale that's there, uh, hold that top, rework that, and run that down into an infiltration basin over here. On the front side, where we have parking lot and impervious area here, this will be caught, deep sump catch basins, right through an oil and water separator, because we're still, even though the well is not active down at the water, site, as my understanding, is still in the zone, so we, we have to take out 44% TSS before we discharge the infiltration structure, so we do that. Uh, the interesting thing with this, though, is we, if you recall, I said earlier, there's that existing pipe that runs to that detention basin. So when we dig out this, we're going to remove <coughs> that uh, pipe, but what we're going to do is we're only going to move it to this point. We're going to build a catch basin over there. All the water that goes through here stays in that basin, even in a 100-year storm. But for instance, if we had multiple really quick and it couldn't take it, I mean, these are, these are sands in here, so they take the water pretty well. Um, it will overflow the spillway and get into that catch basin right through that existing pipe back to the detention basin. So we're not creating any new point source discharges off this site for the creation of this project. Um, there was, you know, detention in this area previously, but it was all gravel. When we go to parking and building, obviously, we increase the amount of runoff. Not more storm water coming to the site, but the amount of runoff. And so that's why we have the larger basin. So you're building a new basin. Right in this area. So it's Yeah, the basin, but the catch basin, too. Which is that going to be are, new? We've got three here, so it's fairly flat because we've we got to design it. No, but when you tie it. into the, the existing drainage that goes out to the brook. Oh, right here. Yeah, are yeah. you putting a new catch basin in yes, there? Is that how that's working? We'll put a new catch basin there. So when water goes over the spillway, if we ever had that high, right now we calculate it doesn't, but if you had multiple big storms, yeah. uh, it would drain over, get into the catch basin, go to the pipe to the existing detention basin through their outlet structure and back collapse on the ground. So that's how that works. Um, this will all be, I mean, we have, we have landscaping, trees, shrubs, and all of that on the front up to this portion in here. Because this is where the public's going to come in. If you look at the Baker's plan, um, their service work and all entries and loading and trucks is all off the back side here. So we're going to we're going to landscape this area here in front of our building. They they have all of their you know employee parking, customer parking here, and this is their loading guys in the back. So this is how this will fit together ultimately. They have considerable landscaping here, but um, I don't have the, the resource area here. I can only assume that because the pavement building is in that, that the mitigation enhancement would be more. Here, we've got everything here. We're trying to keep it more lawn, easy maintenance you views uh, to be able to, to not, but we've, we're totally enhancing it because it'll be long, we're going to bring in topsoil, and we've got to see that, so that uh, there'll be a large improvement over what's there right now.
And uh, obviously we have erosion control for this. Um, you'll see that. Um, <coughs> yep. Could you bring that over, Tony? I, yeah. I think just so we can see that a little bit. That, drain, that the, drainage there a little. Yeah, this is the improvement. There. And we can actually get you to it about the drainage. Yeah, some people, right now we're splashing off of that, but I know sometimes people want, maybe that doesn't work that well, so we have an underground storm, so they can also pipe it to that if they want. So give them some options. So we have a loading dock here. That goes by gravity to catch basin, to catch basin, to catch basin, into the, into the pond. It spills, it gets into this existing pipe, which runs to here, and it dumps in here, and that's the outlet structure to the road. The backside, it's just a swale, Whale all the way, but we do have an underground system in here just in case they decide to drive down spot into it. This is the oh, garage, okay. this is the existing detention. So you're going to leave the swale, but you're going yep. to put in a we're going to put a pipe in case they want to um, do downspouting to that as opposed to um, that. Plus, is that, that going to be things. perforated or anything no, like that? No, 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 just a solid, no, solid pipe. Yep. And so, erosion control. Um, quite a bit here. I'll probably put them all in that one. Check dams and silt sacks here. Silt sacks, erosion there, erosion along the fence area. This is, you know, along here. So we've got the site pretty much encapsulated. This hatching in here, that's just an old liner that was there that we discovered. We dug some test pits. So I don't know why the pickle factory had that there, but we'll take that out in this area where we're. Now, this isn't a lot sections go this way, the drainage right now? It does. There's multiple catch basins out there that we would take out. I'm not sure if the vapors are using some of them, but we've discovered and, and opened up a bunch of them. Some, some of them are filled Yeah, because I know we were walking out there. Right? Yeah. I'm not sure if you were on yeah. that one. So, catch basin, catch basin, catch basin. So, this all went to this detention area. So, you can see all of these. Oh, they did. Okay. Back. Yeah, they all, I read something that this was draining the, towards the, you know, that way. Yeah, well, Some sections. See, this is going back this way. Now it's pretty flat, but, you know, it's kind of funny. Some of it goes back to the swale, 53, 42, 37, so that's mm. going that way. Um, this almost looks like there's a little hole right there, you know. Um, so it's it's pretty flat. But, yeah, I know it is. Yeah. I mean, of course, they have all the the vats in here and, yeah. you know, and then aisles in between the gravel, so, you know, probably a lot of this, it makes its way back over. But I'm sure they built this to protect the neighbors, you know, back in the day. So, um, okay. there'll be an improvement yeah. to, the, to the resource area. I mean, if, you know, in Mark Stinson's letter, he said, well, it's pretty sparse uh, on plantings in there. Yeah, that's what I was going to just ask you, you, you know. know. I mean, we would prefer, I mean, we're, we're making an area that is hard right now um, into a, a, a lone and, and, and seeded area. I mean, we plant a few white pines consistent with what they're doing if, if the board feels necessary uh, to maybe do a little more enhancement. I'm not inclined to do the sumac, but maybe. You know, there's some white pines in that area where the basin is. I don't put too much yeah. in the grass won't grow. Yeah. Shade it too much. So, so that's that was our goal, but um, uh, in the design and our thought process. But you know, we'd entertain uh, if you want us to do a little more planting in that area. I mean, there's some you can get the smaller one, smaller shrubs or whatever, isn't there? Yeah. Or? No, we could we could put some other stuff in there too. Because I think you know, Mark did mention it. And, yeah. Uh, you know, uh, I, I was think just it's trying to keep the theme of what was already approved by the commission for the bakers. Yeah. So maybe we'll do some of that just so it looks and see. But we have pretty mature vegetation right there, you know, next to that. We maybe do something off that gravel road. We could do a little bit over in this area, maybe a little bit up in front. That would, you know, keep the P happy too. And okay. But uh, that's that's a quick overview of what, what it is. I mean, I know your focus is mainly 
right there, but it's always good to get that. Yeah, but no, it's a big improvement from, because yeah. I remember going out there and, yeah. you know, the ground is broken pavement. And, yeah, it's weedy and, you know. And utilities that, who knows where they go and drainage. Water lines mostly and drainage. Yeah. Um, sewer was off the back. Um, you know, but the water lines were only small because uh, when I was a kid, I would clean those tanks. It was my first job. Over the <laughs> summer, so there was water you drag hose and, yeah. you know, and wash them out and clean them out before they fill them up again and cap them. So we'll just we'll just cap and remove those uh, where they might be in the way of the, uh, of the building construction. Okay, any questions? No, I'm pretty good. Anybody out there got questions? Um, I, I'm uh, Dee Dee Foley from New England Natural Bakers, yeah. so we're interested in property. Um, we've been working well with these guys trying to get the two um, plans coordinated so that everything works well. Um, the one, we, we just got a plan t this afternoon from them. Go up to the and if you could state your name again. So sure. Case. Um, I'm Dee Dee Foley. I'm the CFO at New England Natural Bakers. And like I said, we've been working well with the DuMont Group, um, trying to get the plans coordinated so that um, they work well together. Um, we received plans today. Uh, we haven't had a chance to review them. Um, all that we're um, asking is that, um, that we make sure that their plan aligns with ours because we've already got an approved plan from from you folks um, we've got a recorded order of condition um, which right now we think includes that parcel uh, so we want to do a partial certificate of condition to correct that so that um, they're not responsible for anything under our name we're not responsible for anything under their name um, and uh, mark stinson from the dep wasn't he said it was kind of unclear how that was set up, so we'd like to just make it clear so that there's definitely Partial a... Partial certificate of compliance, AA, similar to what you just did with uh, right. uh, Cumberland Farms. So it's a little unclear. I know that Priscilla looked at this with you folks, and you believe that Parcel C was not in. Uh, the Bakers thinks that this was in. Um, the original based on I, 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 I don't see where it was because the Baker's notice of intent covered 9.2 acres of property. And that's everything except for, I think, on the plan. No, I don't even know. Okay, because I on the, originally on the plan were says everything. Parcel C is not included. Right. With that one there, and it says on the assessor's map there, shows your parcel right. at 9.2 acres. So I think I the notice of intent will, yeah. says 9.2 acres. So okay. for us, that's what we were going by, is the 9.2. Okay. So I don't know, you know, yeah, you get, no, the, you get the town council involved and other lawyers involved, and so I'm not sure what the CERT would actually do, you know, partial CERT. What is it going to state? Well, it state that to state that parcel C is not included in or that this is removed and not part of the original, which you believe already. Which I believe original. already. Yes. Um, but there's confusion um, yeah. from their engineering group, because when they originally submitted, and I got copies of that, the tax map, and did include this parcel, because they were originally going to buy that. Right. And then, I don't know, it's one of timing, which I don't have a good handle on, obviously. Right. Uh, yeah, you know, uh, I don't either. Was, um, uh, this was taking out. They believe that this was still in when the Conservation Issue the Board Conditions. The Conservation Commission thinks that this was out when they issued the Board Conditions. So I'm not... The way to play, clear it up is is either a setback or something that you say that it wasn't. And um, obviously, we don't. The thing that we don't want to be is held by any conditions that the bakers have. And obviously, when we we're trying to obtain uh, order conditions for this project, it should not affect them. Right. It's as simple as that. So. 
Um, I don't know how, I mean, this is, I'm not sure how this would pr proceed. It's either somebody's got to, either Kim's going to say, okay, we agree with the board commission, right. or you have to agree and accept the certificate of uh, compliance, partial certificate of compliance. So, I don't know. So, Do you know what the uh, order conditions state on the, uh, on your property? W we, we feel that it, it covered the entire lot, including parcel C. And, and I, you know, just so that there isn't any confusion years down the road, I would just rather do the partial and get it cleared up. And if you the guys are okay going to file that. that to the commission. Yeah. They're going to file that request. Okay, so you're going to file uh, partial completion mm -hmm. on lot C. Right. right. Lot C only. Right. Yes. Because, you know, that isn't your lot. That's their lot. Right. And, and we want to make sure it's... So we want to make sure that we're, we're signing off on a section that you're not even going to touch. Correct. Correct. Which is our application for no, uh, our notice of intent application of tax. Right. Really, our your, your, yours is this just, area yeah. of the extension of the Oregon is out of your jurisdiction. And it's it's right. just the two points that are, are what impacts the parcel C. Yeah. Right. And we just, again, we just want to make sure that, you know, because they're doing some some easements and things mm -hmm. like that, and we want to make sure that it's it's oh. not going to affect our plan yes. at all. Yes, and our sewer main connection, right. which I showed you, that's in our notice of intent on the plan, and it's, it's actually in the river. Uh, temporary alterations in our exhibit that was yeah. provided you with our um, notice of intent. Yeah, so thank you. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, so that, that's that's why, yeah. you know, I just wanted to, to speak up on our behalf. Yeah. No, no, no. I, we're, we've been talking about it for a while here. Yeah. <laughs> and I was disagreeing with a few people. Yeah. But uh, because, like I say, you know, the notice of intent, you know, I found that. And I says, wow, I mean, it can't get any clearer than that. Okay. Well, no, you I've know. got a write-up from Priscilla, which I shared with yeah. New England. Uh, yeah, she wrote, wrote, she wrote that we looked it up and we yeah. found it. And so the notice of intent states the... the 9.2 9 .2 acres that okay. I saw in there. Yeah. Okay. And that's what the map shows of other than lots. I think it's C, it says, or lot C and... Is it lot C, D, and E or something that is not part of that that upper plan, you know, the big plan, right. or your property. Yeah, I'm, I don't I'm have the map here. Yeah, yeah. I think it was timing. Originally, they were going to buy all of this. And then yeah, I think there maybe. There was a, a mapping exercise. Randy did a mapping exercise to cut this off. It's probably in conjunction with the town garage. And, and parcels got shifted. It's just whether, and I don't have a good handle on that, when, whether the order of conditions was issued, which they believe, well, they still own this before the town kept it. Um, and then, obviously, the town kept that, and their, their, their project got, um, which they were getting in here anyways, I don't think. Well, at one point we were, but, yeah. but it made more yeah, sense in that yeah, way. There were some town changes, could, and there yeah. was a, a, a lull in the action there. And right. I think that's probably when things changed and the map changed. Mm -hmm. So I'm yeah. not sure when that order happened with that. But clearly, the plans that we have now um, only affect that point to or what was finally ultimately. Okay, that, uh, like I say, it doesn't change anything for you people. No, right. No. And it's been good. We've worked, I, I, you know, we're, we've really worked well together. Mm -hmm. um, I've worked with their engineer. They have a plan um, now for me. Uh, um, obviously, I think we're going to be in first, so we're going to build the, um, extend the water lines and build Marion Way and leave it off so they can take off from there. Okay, so you're getting the water from the, there too? Yeah. Well, uh, well yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, Rather than move the, the other yeah. lines, it makes more yeah. sense. Yeah, we're going to build a hydrant that they show on their plan here, which will serve both of us. Um, with that, they'll allow us to do the sewer connection. And then, um, so we're utilizing that existing pipe, which is on their property. Um, so we're asking for a drainage easement over that. In case something happens to that, we be our responsibility going in and maintain fix that or whatever so that they don't so that's the other thing we're going to request and um, 
Now it's, uh, uh, we find out where their water levels are, we'll fill those for them and get them out some of the pavements so we don't have to punch those in yet. And yeah, it all seems to work really well. Uh, yeah. As I said, you know, you can't see the grades in that, but you can see alternately on the plan of uh, this all fits together. So ultimately, when this is built, you'll see that area in the quay will come in. This is their, their uh, loading area. And that's their... Oh, okay. Area. So that's how that's going to fit that's in. That's all going to fit okay. in like that. And this is their big infiltration basins. And then they have yeah. infiltration over here. We have our little one here. Our parking's in front. Oh. Obviously, Speaking of this, do we have a maintenance... Well, we plan on that or the storm water report. is it we okay? An operation I, did, I didn't over. catch that. Yeah, yeah. Okay. That and Ward's report is in the, is, is yeah. in the our application. Um, so everything really, we're just trying to, to protect our neighbors on all of our sides, and all of our work is facing yeah. away from them. So yeah, it should work. Um, it should be you know really set up nicely between both of us. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. No, I saw that today. Yes. Okay. No, that looks like you fit in there. Yeah. yeah. Better to see both of them in there and everything. Definitely. Yeah, yeah. So that gives you an idea how the drainage will work and our, all the improvements will be set. And it's well set up for industrial and, you know, it's yeah. going to work fine. Yeah. And I think, um, you know, they studied numerous things. They had a... Uh, uh, Residential, commercial in here, and they have huge. Well, they only looked at one big development and another big development. But ultimately, you got three uses on the parcel. Yeah. You know. But all good, you know, manufacturing and, and the town garage. So, yeah, it's a good, good thing for the town. Okay. Like I say, you, you know, sounds sounds good to me, and you know, it looks good. The drainage and everything, and. Uh, like I say, the only thing is, you know, like Mark's comment on the, on the trees, he likes, you know, the bushes or additional planting around that, or yeah, wherever we'll, you can fit them in there. Well, well, we can, I like to take the theme off of doing one, so we'll, we'll do something in this area, and we can probably do a little bit of that in, yeah. in that corner right there. And, um, no, I, you know, that'd be, that'd be part of the oil order of conditions, so. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, you just, yeah, just you something know. simple, just to make note the additional plantings yeah. Yeah. in that resource area. Yeah. So, okay. okay. Yeah, it's easy enough to do. Absolutely. Yeah, and I think it'll look better too, you know, to get some type of shrubs or plants and... Yeah. Very good. Okay. Thank you. Okay, and the you're going to, you know, Work on, work on that then? Yes. The partial yes. certification for just C? Yes. I made a note of that. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. All right. And uh, I think we sent in a RDA for... Well, this should take care of it. Do you want yes, to that it? Yeah, but if he's, he should uh, withdraw it, shouldn't it be? Yes. RDA. If, it's officially, if, if it was officially submitted, you should be Did, did it go to DEP? Did it, it, I think it did. Did Priscilla send it? I, I don't know. I can check with her, but... Yeah. If she wanted to. <laughs> if, if she submitted that, she can just tell us. Uh, yeah, we got, a, we got a number. Because all that was trying to do was to clarify that Parcel C was not part of it, right? Yes. Well, they were trying, but that's not what. Yeah, it won't do it. It won't do it. Yeah, that's right. what I've been saying. So, yeah. well, there is a number on there, a one forty two oh two oh one, which she must have sent, and DP sends it back. Is that how that works, or? No, they typically don't issue a number for an idea. It might be this one, the one that we submitted. Oh. But he had a few comments on the back. The only thing he said it seemed like it complied with with the uh, orders. Riverfront resources, but it was, could probably uh, commission could possibly ask for some additional. Oh, that yeah, this is the old old one there for okay. that area. Okay. So yeah, probably. Yeah, I'll have to check with Priscilla see if she mailed it in. But if not, you should. Uh, 
request to withdraw the RDA for that yeah. by the town. Yeah. We want to write. And we'll do the. Uh, Kip as the chair can represent that it with this board submitted it. So we'll. Uh, Did you, do you have any idea when Kim's going to file that? I, I don't. I'll, I'll contact her tomorrow and find out. Okay. Yeah, if she could maybe just email me and uh, forward it off to when you have a copy of that. Okay, um, yeah. I can do yeah. yeah. Okay. Thank you. Okay, I guess then, uh, you got any additional questions or thoughts? or? No, I think you guys pretty much covered it. And let's see, I think it's the same thing as Cumbies was there. Uh, boy, those pages. Oh, hey. Okay, for the uh, order of conditions there, it's the same thing, B. Oh, B. Uh, 2A, I guess. That's, you know, just we approve it. Is that how that works? And, or as per order conditions. Yeah, yeah I, well, I can look at it. Because it's not a denial. It's Yeah, just the, the plant, you know, you can pretty write, much everything. If you want to, you can write that right on this as, as the conditions below. Right, there's a line there. You can, of course, there's some, some commissions add up a bunch. You could just add a special condition, additional landscape, make sure you plant it. Yes. Um, add to the infiltration area or something like that. Now let's add, add those and submit a plan and pursue it. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let's see, that's, yeah, that, yeah, it'd be under this one, yeah. under the white lines. Yeah. And then we just sign, I got the spot. Yep, yeah. and then I'll pick that up um, from Priscilla and I'll go ahead and record that. Okay. And so. get you back a recording and get you back a, a, a copy of the plan for the additional um, plan things by the infiltration, basically. Okay, sounds, sounds good. Thank you for the help with uh, the other little parcel there or whatever, the big uh, parcel. Yeah, well, you know, we work well together, so thanks, and we'll get, we'll get all of that coordinated, and we should be in good shape.
motion to accept the minutes. I'll second them. Okay. Let's see. We went out there and we had looks. So there's, you know, Steve and I did. I don't know if you were here no, when we know. when we voted on it or something. Or? I think I was, I was here for that. that yeah. You know, they they still think it's you know there's because it's change from what was going on. But that doesn't mean anything. We're looking at the property. You know, when we did it, it doesn't what wasn't the work, and even the work doesn't matter. It's the property. If there's equipment issues, so oh yeah, you get a let's see. My official Your official, official card. yeah for be way cooler if we could have badges. <laughs> well, we got those. That is, we got the. Uh, End of the month, August. Monthly report. Monthly report. Yep. Spending something. Two hundred eighteen. Whatever that was for this car, but wherever. Pretty close to probably. It's a little expensive. Okay, DC. All right. So, yeah. Yeah. I don't know how long. New cutting plan yeah, practices. I read that the email the new practice. Yeah. yeah. Same. There was something in here about that. Comments, but I don't see it. Comments on the uh, request for comments. I usually refer to our typical comment of no comment. No, I agree. No, I, I swear there was something. She had put something in there, but. It doesn't involve any of her jurisdiction. Oh, no, there it is. There it is. It's only Board of Appeals to hear. Yeah, I would say uh, they're not changing anything, so you have no comment. No. Official comment is no comment. No comment. Okay, let's see. And that. Is, uh, any other business? Any other business questions out there? No. I guess we uh, motion to adjourn. I'll second it. Aye. Oh yeah, we set up our, we already talked about the next meeting in October. Yep, uh, October 25th. 25th, yeah. So.
Uh, we'll be adjourned at uh, 8 o'clock.